Alright guys, I am going to show you how I set up my uh, scoreboard, uh, or posted my score. So, alright, so I'm going to show you quickly. As you go over this trigger zone, uh, the timer starts, the text dis uh, number display up in the left hand corner, and then as you trigger zone hits this, it stops and posts it. Alright, so let's get right into it and I'll show you how I did it. It's kind of... Uh, a little messy, but um, let's. I'll do my best and explain what I did. I will actually delete all this. All right, all right, because some of this stuff you don't really need. I'm gonna even delete that. All right, so I'll leave these two trigger zones. This trigger zone will be to start the timer. This will be to end it. So let's get our gadgets. All right, we we'll can get a few little. Things. All right, so let's we'll go in order. So we need our timer. All right, so this is gonna start the timer, and then current time. We're gonna jack this up, and you could probably put it at whatever you want. Mine was fairly high in my game because. The levels kind of you know it could take people you know a good amount of time to get through it all right so what we need now is the number displayer all right so we will connect current time to number range uh, I wanted two decimals for mine that's fine you can really do all sorts of stuff change it the way it looks and stuff but for this we're going to keep it simple all right so now i'll just show you because i do like when people actually like show all right so now you can see that it goes doesn't do anything when you reach this trigger zone but we'll get to that all right so now what we need is we need a Let's do that. Let's go into the gameplay stuff, and we're gonna need the score modifier and a score. All right. So again, you should put these all in a microchip. All right. We're gonna do continuously powered on. Uh, I guess we'll call this score for the same thing as mine as well. And remember, these need to have the same name. So, like, say score, score modifier, score name, right there. All right, that should work. So now we want to have this. We'll say here's post score. So when this is detected. We want it to post the score. All right, so now we can see if that works. All right, so triggers. All right, let's go to here. I just want to see if this is. I see it's not. For some reason, this isn't. Oh, because that's why. Because I need to have this current time plugged into here. So and the current time needs to go into the operation value. So let's try that again. Trigger. Again it doesn't stop and we'll figure that out. Uh, Alright perfect. Okay. So it's definitely it's sending the signal to this and then this is updating this. Alright so but as you can see the number just keeps going as we're in this zone. So the way we can do that is, again, the way I did it, I will show you. So again, I got, I went to animations, where are you, animate, keyframe, and what I did was, I went all the way to here and I put this all the way down to zero. All right. So what I said was, when this is detected, uh, 
so now when I'm in this trigger zone this will send a signal to this keyframe and you can notice when you click on this keyframe these little dashed lines let you know that this is it's updated so see how it's updated to zero but if I hit circle off of it it goes back up to what it was so all right so let's try that out so what happens is, is here I'm in it and look at that perfect it stops where I want it but issue I have here is my guy can still move all right so what we can do is we can see it stops it's posted to this so now the only other thing we need to do is just simple enough is now when let's open up micro trap here uh, all right so now what we have here is I have a disable controls and that you can find right in here so where the little imp icon is you go to this disable control so what we'll do is we'll leave it like that so grab this detected and then hit disable controls so all right so now as you go through it time goes and then now you get in the trigger zone and you cannot move your character all right so what you can do now is if you want to reset it a uh, quick little way of resetting every time you die I can show it with this little arrow here so what I did was um, I literally just sent I had a timer here because when my guy dies I wanted to show him break apart but you might not need that so I need that little pause for the timer so you know don't think of this timer here being here so like what you can do is what did I do so yeah on uh, oh yeah right here I bet so on no health you can uh, reset timer so let's see if that works so what happens is, is boom I die and the time resets and I go back to here alright that's basically it and then starts over again and all right so I mean that's basically it and uh, hopefully uh, this is helpful uh, let me know if this is you know this helps you guys and um, I will see you next one peace